Hey everybody, Damien here from Global Trading Software. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I just wanted to give you all uh, an introduction and guide on how to set up our automated trading, which is using the Express Algo. Okay, so this is only working on TradeStation 10. So the first thing you're going to see is obviously your chart on your screen. And what we're going to want you to do is open up at the bottom there, just create a new workspace if you've already got one set up. So down the bottom there, there's a plus sign. You just select that and then obviously what will happen then is you want to go up to the top and then select studies down there you're going to select add strategy now you're obviously going to be emailed of uh, the installation details first so once you've installed it you're going to do that so here and then you can see the expert algo auto trader is just there so you're going to select that and click ok then you're going to come and see this screen and what you want to do is properties for all. And then this is where you're going to make a few changes to the settings. OK, so the first thing is you're going to want to change the initial dollar amount to five thousand dollars. OK, second thing is the maximum number of bars study will reference. Change that to five hundred. And then finally, what you want to do is just change these two numbers to two. That basically means is the maximum amount of shares that it's going to trade is two. And the fixed number of shares it will trade is, is two shares. Now, obviously, if you want to change that down to one, you're entitled to do that as well. I'm just using this as a reference point. OK, so on the next page, then what you want to do is scroll down to the next tab. OK, so you have you're in general. Now you go down to back testing. OK, and what you want to select is fill entire order when trade exceeds limit price. And then you're going to go down to the next uh, tab down to automation. And you're going to select strategy will fill non hysteric orders when trade manager reports is filled. Uh, you also want to adopt the real world position for the current account. Uh, you're going to check the box for stop orders. And then you're going to want to make sure that you set that as default. OK, so then you don't see that message again. You're going to click OK. And then you're going to click OK again. and You're going to go to this page. The next stage is you need to then customize your time frame. So obviously you come up to the top and you scroll down to the bottom there and you can see customize. Uh, you're going to go into this page. Now there's two bits of information you want to change. OK, so the first thing is you're going to change it to first date. And what you want it to set to is 0101 2020. So the 1st of January 2020. And then you're going to change the time zone to exchange. OK, because it's normally set as local. You want to change it to exchange. Then you're going to be seeing this screen here, which can say download the scheduler request. OK, and you're going to change that. So you want the data to be available as soon as possible. So it's going to download all that data and put it together for you. And then you're going to say, remember the setting and do not display this message again. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to come up to studies because you, obviously you want to be using this on Heiken Ashi. So to do that, you need to add Heiken Ashi as a, as a study. So you go up to the stop, add study up here. And you're going to go down to Ichimoku Trade Heiken Ashi Candles. There's a couple of other different ways, but this obviously is the way that we, we've done. But if you have your own preferal, pre preferential way of putting Heiken Ashi Candles up there, then you're entitled to do that. OK, so select those, then click OK. Your candle changes. Now what you want to do is you want to see the performance report. So do that. You're going to come up to the top and you're going to go to data. And you're going to select strategy performance report, or you can press shift, alt and P together. That way, then you can see the performance summary um, of the, the expert algo from the 1st of January 2020. See the numbers associated with it. Uh, but down at the bottom there, you're going to see performance graphs that will just show you the equity curve. So if you go down to there, that shows you the trading and that shows you the results and, and how the equity improves over the period of time. Now, you're not actually live trading here yet. You, what you're doing is you're looking at the information uh, from previous results. So if you want to enable live trading, what you're going to do is just close down that uh, that chart there. You're going to right click on the chart and you're going to go down to studies and then you're going to edit strategies. From there, what you want to do is you want to generate, click this, check the box that says generate strategy orders for display and trade manager strategy orders tab. And then tick underneath automate execution. Now, what's going to happen as soon as you click automate execution, you're going to get a pop up like this. Uh, and then again, like I said, if you want to trade more or less shares, you can do. We're using two as a reference point. 
change that number now to, to two, and then you're going to go to I agree. Click that. And the other important thing you need to remember is you need to change the account confirmation to off. Otherwise, what happens is before it takes a trade, it's going to come to you and ask you to confirm whether or not you want to take that trade. This is an automated system, so turn that off so then it just does the trading automatically for you. Okay. Now, the other thing is what you'll see at the top left there is you see SA and TA. That's the strategy order automation and the trading automation. I'm using SIM data, so mine hasn't turned green, but what you'll see is the SA will turn green for you to show that the strategy automation is running properly. Okay. The other thing you want to bear in mind is that sometimes when a trade is taken and you can see it, you may look at it and go, well, actually, I want to take the profit there. I don't want to wait and see what happens. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Or you may want to manually, manually amend it or set in perhaps a trailing stop. So the easiest way you can do that is by going to the top left there, selecting file and go to new application. And then you want to select the matrix. And once you've done that, it's going to open up, obviously, the dome for you. You can then do all the changes that you want. So you can do the amendments to the, the actual trade that's open at the time. That's basically it. Hopefully, that's, uh, that gives you more information on how to set this up. It's relatively easy, obviously, when you know how. Uh, but, guys, if you do have any questions or any issues, please feel free to email me, damien at globaltradingsoftware.com. But apart from that, thanks for your time.